Hello world, my name is Emily, also known as M. Shea, and this is Rugby TV. Coming up, we are going to be debunking another common misconception. Another common misconception or myth that I've heard around the pitch, both as a player and as a ref, is that advantage is over when the ball is kicked. I've heard this a lot. As a ref, often players or coaches will challenge me and ask, hey ref, the, the ball is kicked, why is an advantage over? Now, like, like the other common misconceptions that we've talked about on this show, you know, it has a little bit of truth behind it. But let's talk about what advantage means. So there are two kinds of advantage, right? There's a scrum advantage, in which if advantage is not gained, you would restart the game with the scrum. And there's a penalty advantage, in which if advantage is not gained, then you would restart the play with a penalty kick. Now, what goes into deciding if advantage is over or not, um, it's, it's all up to the referee's discretion. So let's say for a scrum advantage, uh, Team Red has the ball. Now, I would ask myself, is the possession that Red has equal to or better than a scrum. Now if it were a penalty kick I would ask myself is the possession they have and what they've done with the ball equal to or better than what they would do if they had a penalty kick. Right. So you see where the judgment, you see where there's a lot of uh, personal judgment involved as a referee. Now let's, let's watch a clip from one of the recent Six Nation games between England and Wales. England got there ahead of him, Mike Brown, that's a sort of trademark run by Brown, Wales though have turned it over, <laughs> the ball back in England's hands, no advantage, I think Wales are quite lucky there because in the, in the game today as soon as you kick the ball after a knock on advantage this usually play, you know, or advantage over. We definitely lost forward. And normally a referee would say the advantage is getting possession. Not quite sure why they chose the option. It worked out all right because of the ricochet, but keeping the ball in hand might have been better. So, if you notice, the commentators were really surprised when the referee decided that advantage was not gained when Wales kicked away their possession. Now, it's true. It's probably true what they say that at this level of rugby, usually a scrum advantage ends when a team has possession. But again, you know, as a referee, if I were in that position, I would ask myself, you know, is the possession they had equal to or better than what they would do if they had a scrum? And you can see in this situation, Wales was under pressure and their scrum half kicked the ball and kicked possession away. You know, the alternative that the referee might have been thinking is, you know, if we come back to the scrum, they might get a cleaner ball, a cleaner platform to do what they would like, you know, to have the freedom to do what they would like with the ball in a, in a better situation than what unfolded on the pitch. So while the referee is not right or wrong in this case, um, it is not true that kicking the ball always ends advantage. What this means is that oftentimes the referee will make a decision that once the ball is kicked, advantage is gained. In other cases, the referee might decide that kicking the ball away and giving away possession um, does not constitute a gained advantage. Bottom line, kicking the ball does not end advantage. The only thing that can end advantage is if the referee decides advantage is over. It really is all up to the referee in the game. So that's that. Debunked. Sit up straight. <laughs> Hello world! What's up? A common thing that referees think inside the 22, you know, playing advantage under pressure is not such a good idea. As a referee, <laughs> it's always hard to get your timing perfect for when you blow the whistle. You know, you want to blow the whistle before somebody kicks the ball 80 meters away. It's definitely something I'm working on. <sighs> One, two, three.